the uh, beauty of virtual PC is this: I can run a whole slew of machines on my uh, my machine and have a little pretend network and practice all that I want building my little pretend network. But the one thing that I never really got down was how to build a gateway. But uh, I was reading about this new software. It's called IP Cop. It's a uh, Linux distribution that's freely available on the internet. I could always build myself a uh, gateway for my virtual network for my virtual machines to get out. But this IP Cop software runs off of 32 megs of RAM. So I don't have to dedicate a lot of RAM to my gateway and I can still pretend like I've got a real network. So uh, I decided to try it out and see how well it works because I don't want to dedicate a gigabyte of my RAM to a virtual ISA server so I can pretend like I've got a, uh, a real network. So I thought you might like to watch the install of it. Like I say, I've already built the uh, virtual machine and I'm going to capture the CD. There it is. And uh, I need to reboot. And it is running off of 64 megs of RAM right now, but it can run off of 32. So enter to boot. IP Cop is freely available from the uh, from the internet. It can be a DHCP server. It can be a uh, web caching server. But uh, mostly, I just want to use it as a NAT server. The only problem is never click cancel because if you click cancel anywhere you have to start over again so English okay okay CD-ROM that's what I'm booting off of okay now I've got this guys configured I've got the uh, networking with two network adapters. The main network adapter is local only and the secondary network adapter is my real card. Okay. It's going to partition the hard drive. This Linux is command line only. So, uh, You'll have to get used to that. So, uh, I want to skip backing up the machine because I don't really care that much about it. Probe the hardware. Yep, that's my network card. Uh, now this is going to be the uh, LAN address. That's why the local only card is the first card when I configured this virtual machine. So I want it to be 10. Uh, dumb lot. 10.0.0.254. And I can change the uh, network mask. to a slash 8 cool it's installed US that's the keyboard I'm using I am in a central time name of the machine name of the domain I do not use ISDN. All right, so network configuration type. Here's where the part where I specify the second network card. So I have green and red. Green is the local network card. Red is the WAN network card.
Ah, there's my red network card. So I'm going to select it. It's already selected. But uh, I could go back and modify. The uh, green here in a minute. But mostly it's going to assign that second network card to red. Address settings. Green. Still static. Red. DHCP. DNS and gateway settings. I'm not setting DNS and gateway settings. That's DHCP on the red interface. And uh, if I wanted to, I can configure DHCP on my green interface. But I don't want to configure DHCP on my green interface. I just want it to be a uh, gateway for me. Now, need a uh, root user password for the box. Need a uh, admin user password for the website. Yep, this little guy has a web interface. And a back backup password. Cool. Setup is complete. It should have removed my CD. It did. So now I've got this guy acting as a NAT server and uh, running off of only 64 megs of RAM. When we get back, I'm going to look at the um, web interface so you can see it. And I'll show you a, a virtual machine connecting to the internet through it.